Erie Catholic community. Today we gather as the body of Christ on the third Sunday of Advent, also called Gaudaute Sunday, which means rejoice in Latin. In today's gospel, John the Baptist announces the coming of Christ. Would you please rise and join in singing Creator of the Stars of Night. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light, O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. Come, O Lord, and bring your light, O radiant star and heart's delight. O God, with us, Emmanuel, with your love, the dark dispel. In sorrow that the ancient curse should doom to death a universe, you came, O Savior, to set free your own inglorious liberty. O Lord, and bring your light, O radiant star and heart's delight. O God, with us, Emmanuel, with your love, the dark dispel. Good afternoon. Let us begin this celebration today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. On this third Sunday of Advent, we reflect on being joyful as we wait for the Christmas. How can we do, how can we joyfully wait for the coming of Jesus Christ? And this waiting is, calls for active waiting, not passively waiting. And the gospel reminds us that we need to rejoice always. And for the ways that our spirits have grown weary, and for the sorrow that keeps us from joy, let us turn to the Lord and for the healing and mercy and, be, and to be joyful with him. Lord Jesus, you are the light that illumines our darkness, all our darkness. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the brokenhearted. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to fullness of life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Loving God, you see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with a solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with the robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and peace spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living God. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living God. My soul proclaims your mighty deeds. My spirit sings the greatness of your name. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living God. Your mercy flows throughout the land, and every generation knows your love. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living God. Cast the mighty from their thrones and raise the poor and lowly to new life. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living Fill the hungry with good things. With empty hands you send the rich away. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living God. Just as you promised Abraham, you come to free your people, Israel. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. My spirit finds its joy in God the living God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. The Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. They said to him, who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize you. I baptize you with the water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandals strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord.
As you know, this is the third Sunday of Advent, and we focus on the theme of joy. And we had a hope, we had faith, then we have the Sunday of joy. What is the joy all about? And the joy is waiting. Waiting is not joyful. If we go in and wait for something to happen, we always get impatient. For example, you are waiting to see your doctor. How long are you going to be sitting there in a physical appointment or appointment sitting there, sitting there for a couple hours, a couple of hours, and nothing happens. Or you're waiting and to, to get into the flight. And the more you wait and more you wait, you get irritated, right? And we get impatient. But when you wait with love, for example, and all of you have an experience waiting for your, your uh, friend, waiting for your child, waiting for your, your loved ones, and more and more you wait, the waiting becomes more and more joyful. And that's what the joy we are talking about. As we are getting closer to Christmas, as we are waiting, actively waiting, and we are also called to wait for the, for the Lord joyfully. Even though the waiting takes your time, takes our time, the waiting takes, gives, gives us a little impatience, but we need to fill our hearts with the joy of waiting. And so that we are going, that we are going to see the Lord, that we are going to see the loved ones, that we are going to see the great, great rejoicing in our life. So we need to have the full taste of the joy of receiving Jesus Christ in our hearts. That's why it is called Gaudete, meaning a rejoicing Sunday. So how well we have rejoicing? St. Paul's in second reading calls us, brothers and sisters, rejoice, rejoice. And being Christian is to rejoice, not to be sad. Let us always focus on, we are celebrating the life, the, 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 the celebrating and coming here to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's not that the Christ who died, we celebrate, it's the Christ who died and rose again. So we have the rejoicing that Christian life is always rejoicing. We are not here sitting here and complaining. We are not sitting here waiting, painfully waiting, but joyfully waiting. And it's also that brings us that the joy should be continue, that joy should be multiplied with others so that we can bring the joy. How do we get the joy, my dear friends? First of all, we will get the joy in our spiritual life once we know who we are. And the people came to John the Baptist. Who are you? And, Jesus, and the John the Baptist answered them in a negative way. I am not the Christ. I am not the prophet. I am not Elijah. And goes on. And who are you? And he simply said, I am merely a voice in the desert. I'm here a messenger to give you the joy. And uh, you have one among you, but you don't recognize. You have been blind and not able to see him, but he is standing among you, and he is with you. And that you need to seek him and find him, and then your joy will be fulfilled. And uh, the, the Christ is like the sunshine in the morning, but when you are awake, then you are able to see it and witness it. And sometimes the Christ is among us, and we don't recognize. The Christmas is, the Christ is, the Christ who was born 2,000 years ago is among us. But are we able to recognize him? Are we blinded with our selfishness? Are we blinded with our sorrows? Are we blinded with our ignorance? Are we blinded with our own self-pity? No. We need to come out of those things that bothers us, that affects our joy. joy. Let us open our eyes and see that Christ is among us. Are we recognize that Jesus, 
who is born 2,000 years ago, is living among us. And that's what Saint uh, John the Baptist said to the, disciples, to the people who came, is, he said, I baptize you with the water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize. And the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. And that one we are called to recognize. Once we are able to recognize Jesus, then our joy begins. Are we able to open our eyes to recognize Jesus who is among us? Maybe with your own spouse. And Jesus is appearing your own ch with your children, your grandchildren. And he is, he is all, he, he, he is to be recognized in the people whom we encounter everyday life. When we are able to recognize that Jesus in them, the joy begins. And we are able to rejoice as Christians and as waiting for the great Christmas. Amen. It is through the faith we have in God that we are able to recognize one another and find the joy. So let us express our faith. I believe in God. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended into hell. And the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the restraints of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we draw closer to the feast of Christmas, when we celebrate the light of Christ being born into this world, let us lift up to God all the places of darkness in our own lives and in the world. With the hope and joy, let us bring our knees before him. For all who preach the gospel, may their words bring glad tidings to the poor, heal the brokenhearted, and proclaim victory to captives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations in their policies and decisions, may they work tirelessly to ensure support and care for the hungry, homeless, and ailing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who grieve May they know the tender compassion of God and find joy and peace in the midst of sorrow, we pray. For all gathered in this place, having encountered the light of Christ in word and sacrament, may we in turn bring this light to others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, in body, mind, or spirit, may they find comfort, hope, and healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, and for the repose of the soul of Leopold Rosas, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God of joy in the time of darkness and grief and sorrow. You send us the light of your mercy and compassion. Hear our prayers that all of creation might be enlightened by your love and our world transformed by your justice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my friends, that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. May the sacrifice of our worship, O Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mysteries and powerfully accomplished for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us a way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, all is at last made manifest. We who watch for the day may incorrect the great promise in which now we, don't, we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end 
we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that I held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, and all the clergy, and all of us gathered here before this altar today. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially those people whom we remember now. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with the him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with the confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, what? hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another the sign of peace and love. Behold Jesus Christ, for whom we wait with rejoicing. Have your call to his banquet, Lord. May the body and blood of Christ bring us life everlasting. For you to reveal your 
yourself to us. There is a longing in our hearts for love we only find in you, our God. For healing, for wholeness, for new life, hear our prayer. In sickness, in death, be near, hear our prayer. in our darkness. We call you, we wait. Be near, hear our prayer, O oh God. There is a longing in our hearts, O oh Lord, for you to reveal yourself to Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Altar server and Eucharistic minister training will take place after both Masses this weekend. Please meet Mike Bloberger at the altar area. Masses for the fourth Sunday of Advent will take place at 4 p.m. on December 23rd and 10 a.m. on December 24th. Christmas Masses will take place on 3.30 beginning with Christmas carols on December 24th and 10 a.m. on December 25th. Thank you, Mark. And of course, and if you need more schedules, we'll look at the, um, our bulletins. And um, just my request to you, and you might have received a stewardship pledge form for year 2024. And uh, please fill those forms and uh, put it in the collection basket, or you can mail it to the office. And um, just to remind all of you that this year, since we do not have our school building rented out and sitting there empty, and, uh, and we need to pay the, their bills, utility bills, and also it uh, puts a dent in our budget and as well as income. And I just, uh, I don't usually, as you know, last eight, seven, eight years been here I never asked for money from you, and because we always have been blessed with um, the, your generosity. But this year, a little bit challenging to balance our budget. Of course, I request you to consider a little more uh, to give, and also make use of the opportunity for the end of this um, calendar year, and then your generosity uh, could be increased, and also you can take also the tax benefit for the year 2023. So thank you very much for your love and generosity. Continue to support our church, and which is your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be God. Have a nice evening. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah.